for why I love this passage? Because Jesus will save anybody and everybody. It doesn't matter what you've done, what you're doing, or what you're going to do. Because we already know all of that ahead of time. God knows you better than you know yourself. Am I right about it? Yes. After all, He is our Creator. He yes. And He's omnipotent, omniscient, and omnipresent. Amen. Amen. This is why God sent us His only begotten Son, so that we can be saved from ourselves and from the wickedness of this world and from the schemes of the evil one who is trying real hard to take everybody with him to the lake of fire. He's already got, guess what? He's already got 85% of the adults in this world. He's got about 85% of the population in this world. Amen. He's already got the big boys. He's working on your kids now. He's working on your kids. Amen. Don't be surprised if your son comes home one day and says, Daddy, I want to be a girl. Don't be surprised if your daughter comes home one day from school and says, Daddy, I want to be a boy. Because you know what they're teaching in schools today? Right now? In this day and age? They're teaching TGI. Mandatory TGI classes. Transgender identity. Are you serious? If I had a little boy or a little girl in my school that was teaching it, I would snatch her or him from that school and give them homeschooling. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Ain't, ain't no kid of mine going to be living stuff like that. No, uh-uh. No. You're born a man, you are a man. You're born a woman, you are a woman. Why are you trying to flip the script and change God's creation? No, it's not a talk. They're doing it right now. They're doing it right now. They're doing it right now. It's of the devil. Huh? It's of the devil. Yes, it's of the devil. That's how Satan works. See, Satan's greatest deception and Satan's greatest lie is to make you think that he doesn't exist. That's his greatest deception. To make you believe that he doesn't exist. But he's working in the background. Amen? He's working in the background. He paid the repercussions for our sin. 
do not die in your sin. Come just as you are. Receive Jesus in your heart as your Lord and Savior. Tomorrow might be too late. Today you hear his voice. Hard is not your heart. Come as you are. Repent of your sin. Turn away from the evil way and accept him in your heart. Live a life of holiness and righteousness. Live a life of purity and sanctification. Only by the blood of Jesus. The blood is available for us. He entered into the throne. Once and for all to pay the price for us. Jesus is calling you today. Have it not your heart. Surrender your heart to Jesus today. Repent of your sin. Repent. He is the only way, the truth and the life. No man can go to God except through Jesus. John 14, 6. Your good work should not take you to heaven. Hallelujah. Your world should not take you to heaven. Your sin will not take you to heaven. It's only through Jesus Christ. By faith you can be saved today. By faith, no matter what you have done, yeah. no matter your situation, no matter your circumstances, all you need to do is to surrender your heart to the Lord. All you need to do is to acknowledge Him as your Lord and your Savior. Surrender today and have an eternal life. He has come so that we can be set free. When you become a Christian, there are many things that you can meet. You meet, number one, the eternal condemnation. You miss going to hell. That is the only one main thing that you miss going becoming a Christian. The lake of fire you will not enter anymore. The bottomless feet you will not enter anymore. Jesus is coming you to a place of peace, tranquility, joy. Hallelujah. Come to Jesus today. Come, come, come. He's calling on you. You are hearing his voice. Just surrender your life to Christ. Your good works will not save you. The church, the denomination will not save you. What you need to do is to just have faith in Christ Jesus. Believe in Him. Trust in Him. Call upon Him. And you will be saved. Live a life that pleases Christ. In words, in actions, and in your thoughts. Let your thoughts, your life, be of edification to the body of Christ, those who are around you. We are the light of the world. He has called us out of darkness into His wonderful light. Come and receive eternal life in Christ Jesus. Come and receive peace. Whatever you are right now, I want you to pray with me. All you need to pray is to just ask Christ to come into your heart. So let's pray. Say, Lord Jesus, forgive me of my sin. I know I have sinned against you. And I come to you today and I ask for forgiveness. That you purge me from all my sins. Forgive me of everything that I've done wrong. Today, I surrender my life to you. That you come into my heart and be my Lord and be my Savior from today and forevermore. Satan, I reject you. I renounce you, Satan. I renounce the world of darkness. Today, I accept Jesus Christ as my Lord and my Savior forever and ever, perpetually. Jesus, you are my Lord. I surrender to you. Come and take full possession of my life from now and forever. In Jesus' mighty name. Today you have said this. Remember, you have now become a body, a part of the body of Christ. Join a Bible believing church. Join a Bible believing church. You can come close to us. And we will tell you the church where we attend. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord face shine upon you and the Lord be gracious to you. We pray that Jesus be exalted, even in the first coming election. The name of Jesus is man to man. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, my sister. And I hope everybody will hear in those words. Come to Jesus Christ today. Today could be your day of salvation. Let's talk about the preeminence. The preeminence of Christ. Colossians 1, verse 13 to verse 29. Colossians chapter 1, verse 13 to 29. Who has delivered us from the power of darkness and has translated us into the kingdom of his dear Son. Amen. And whom we have redemption through his blood. And, and whom we have redemption through his blood, even the forgiveness of sin. 
Don't you have praise the Lord? 